Good morning, guys. I just made my cup of coffee, and this is going to be a what I eat in a day on iTrack Bites Better Balance Plan. I use iTrack Bites just to track my food, track my bites, to help me lose weight, to be in a calorie deficit. If you're not familiar, that is kind of what I'm doing, what I'm on. I was pre previously on WW, lost 60 pounds, gained a little bit back. I'm now down 56 pounds, and I have a little bit more to go to reach my lowest, lowest weight. So that is what I'm aiming for is to get down to my lowest weight and continue my weight loss journey. Um, I get questions quite a bit like how much do you want to lose and I honestly don't know the like exact number but I'm hoping I lose around 140 145 pounds in total. I am pretty tall. I'm 5'8". I just went to the doctors actually recently. I always thought I was 5'7". I guess I grew. I'm now 5'8". <laughs> I don't really know how like where I want to be when I lose the weight but that's kind of the idea definitely over 100 pounds so that is what I'm aiming for that is what I'm doing I don't restrict anything I eat what I want I still eat healthy I still eat some treats I'm not always like healthy eating um, I just do what works for me and my lifestyle so that is what I'm gonna share with you guys in this video and on this channel I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you guys enjoy this type of content if you're also trying to lose weight and just be healthier and feel better have more energy um, incorporate working out that's so good for your body and your heart it's just so good to just try your hardest to be healthy and that's what I'm doing so I hope you guys stick around make sure to subscribe like this video follow me on Instagram I share so much content on Instagram I would love to have you guys there as well I just made my iced coffee with some coconut whip for a little treat today and I'm headed out the door I'm not gonna eat breakfast yet but I am gonna bring a banana just in case I get hungry because me and Joy have to go to the bank um, we have to open up a we're gonna open up a separate savings account um, to start saving for some other things you guys know we're saving for a house we're trying to buy a house Probably, the, honestly, the worst time to buy a house is right now. Um, and who knows, we might wait a little while. That's what we've been advised to do because the housing market is so bad, and especially like, and well, not especially, but in Florida, houses are already kind of expensive. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head out the door here in just a bit. It's Joey calling me. All right, you guys, we are back from running errands. We're back from the bank. I did have the banana. I did have that banana in the drive-thru because I got hungry, and now I'm home, and I'm gonna make a little granola yogurt parfait, and I'm gonna show you guys what I add to my non-fat plain Greek yogurt because I cannot eat that by itself, so I have to add something to it. So I wanna show you how I make my little yogurt parfait. I use this little cup. I got these. Um, from Amazon. I'll link them down below. I love them. I use them as like yogurt cups, um, overnight pudding, and I like to drink out of them too. They're like the perfect size. So I have some non-fat Greek yogurt. Like I said, I cannot eat this by itself. This just does not taste good. Um, but I'm going to have like a half a cup of that. And then I have this granola we just got from Aldi. This is the lemon blueberry. I'm gonna add some blueberries. I just add a little bit first, just to like the bottom. These are wild organic blueberries. I'm gonna add that, like so. And then I'm gonna microwave this for like 15 seconds. You could do more, you could do one whole cup if you want for breakfast, but I, I just do a half a cup, add that. The secret. I have talked about this before, um, but I like to add Jello mix, sugar-free Jello mix. You can do any kind of flavor. This is the white chocolate, and you just need a little bit, and it makes such a difference <laughs> in the flavor of your yogurt. You can also add it to your oats. It's so good, and you just need a little, like a half of a tablespoon to a tablespoon for a size like this. So I'm just going to take about that much. I just sprinkle it on top and then you can kind of like mix it together give it a little mix it makes it like a really good texture as well I love the texture of it you could add more or less it just depends on what you want I don't add any points to this if I use like a tablespoon I don't add any points because it's sugar free and I think you can have let's see one fourth of the package is 25 calories and I'm not using one fourth of the package I don't think 
Mm. Oh my god, it tastes so much better. Oh my gosh, that's good. I like the white chocolate. And then we're going to add our one-fourth cup granola to the top. Last but not least, some sugar-free syrup, just a little bit to the top. There we go. All right, and here is our breakfast. It's a nice little fruit parfait. This looks so good. This is so, like, not usually my breakfast <laughs> that I do, but I've been wanting to do this. I mentioned in my last um, grocery haul, I wanted to have yogurt and fruit and granola for breakfast. Um, very high in protein, very satisfying. So that is our breakfast, and I will leave the bite for it on the screen. Oh my, oh my. We are getting some energy out with the dogs. We're at our field. We're gonna throw the B-A-L-L. -L. We like to do this from time to time to get their energy out. We obviously walk them multiple times a day. But, oh, she's pooping, hey girl. But this is like a huge field where they can run. It's just really good for them. Wayne Dixie and get a few produce things for one of my recipes. So my hair is crazy, I know, but that's where we're headed. sushi short grain rice from Whole Foods. So I'm gonna make some sushi rice, some tofu in the air fryer, and then I'm going to put, I'm gonna to toss the tofu once it's done in this coconut aminos, and then I'm gonna wrap up some sushi wraps. Sorry it's so loud. There's someone pressure washing, there's someone doing their yard work, and <laughs> then the air fryer and the air conditioner is on because it's so hot the dogs just got back from a walk I don't want them to get overly hot so the air is on so I know it's a little bit noisy but I wanted to show you guys the toppings I'm adding into my sushi you can do any kind of vegetable you want you could do cream cheese you could do crab sticks but we're just gonna do the coconut aminos tofu with asparagus avocado and red pepper and we're just gonna wrap it up with some rice and then dip it with some sauce and that's it. It's super simple and super good. Also, I know I'm gonna probably get questions on these adorable knives. These also cut so good. They cut so good. And I got them from Anthropology. and it also came with these. How stinking cute are these? So I'll leave these linked down below for you guys. Got this 
dip from Aldi and I mentioned I wanted to try it. But this is what it looks like. It's made of cauliflower. You can have two tablespoons for six, 60 calories and two bites. Ooh, it looks good. It looks so good. We're just gonna do a little taste test because I was really excited about it when I was sharing in my grocery haul and I wanna do a little taste test to see if it's good. Mmm. Mm. I like it. It doesn't remind me of a chicken dip. It reminds me of something else, but I just cannot. Almost like pimento cheese. I know that sounds weird, but mm-hmm. The texture of the cauliflower tastes like pimento cheese texture. Like it's the same texture as pimento cheese. Yeah. I mean, it obviously isn't cheese, but there is pepper jack cheese in this. Let me show you. So there is pepper jack cheese in this. And there's like chunks of cheese right there. Or maybe that's the cauliflower. But very good. Oh, I have to get Joey to try this because he loves pimento cheese. Dip the pepper into this and tell me what it tastes like. Dip the pepper. Uh-huh. Into the into that. Yep. And what does that taste it? And then tell me what it tastes like. It tastes like pimento cheese. Oh my god. I did not tell him to say that, I swear. Why is that what you That's what I freaking like? said. Yeah, it tastes like pimento cheese. I knew that he was gonna think it tastes like pimento cheese because Joey loves pimento I cheese. Love good. Isn't it good? There you go, pimento cheese. You like it? <laughs> All right, we got the coconut aminos. We're gonna sauce this. Traditionally, you would need a rolling mat for this, but I just, I just usually don't use a rolling mat and I just roll it up almost like burrito or like wrap style. Um, but I have some sushi nori wrapping paper and I'm gonna put the rice on this textured side. So I'm gonna go ahead and add, I have a half a cup of rice. Um, and you just need like, I just like to do a little bit and then fill it up with lots of veggies. You wanna wet the edge with some water and then I, I literally just wrap it. <laughs> they don't turn out, out as pretty as when you use the bamboo wrap but they're good enough for me. To cut your sushi, you kind of want to have a damp knife. So you just kind of wet a towel, wipe it, and then cut your sushi. The ends always are like not the prettiest. Um, and then the inside after the end is cut is usually the nicest. Just make sure you wet your knife every time it feels like it's kind of sticking. Add a little bit of sesame seeds. I added the sesame seeds and I just used the leftover coconut aminos that we dipped the tofu in. I just poured it in this cup so it didn't go to waste. A little bit more sesame seeds. And there you have it. Easy, delicious, healthy sushi. You don't even need a wood wrap to do it. <laughs> you just wrap it up like a burrito and there you go. Stuff it with anything you want, veggies, tofu, crab, shrimp, cream cheese. Perfect. And one of my favorite, absolute favorite lunches to make. I'm also having a side of kimchi to go with my sushi. This is the kimchi I got from Whole Foods. I've had it before, it's very good. Um, closest to like the traditional kimchi you can find, I feel like, in a grocery store. Um, it's definitely not the same, but it's still very good. So this is what my lunch is looking like. All right, you guys, I'm feeling 
a little sleepy, a little lethargic. Um, so I think that calls for another cup of coffee. Second cup of coffee, we did a hot coffee. Add some cinnamon on top. I just did creamer, sugar, free terrain, and a little bit of oat milk. And yeah, I'm gonna have a second cup of coffee for the day. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't, but since I am gonna be editing tonight, this is gonna come in handy. Mm. It's very good. I really wanna watch Seaspiracy on Netflix. Um, I know I'll probably regret it because it's probably gonna be very, very sad, but I think I was vegan for three years. If you guys didn't know that, I was vegan for three years. I've I've been through the whole, like, really being confused and upset with the farm industry, and then things just like really shifted for me, and I felt I just didn't feel good on a vegan diet. But I still think like it's so sad about how they treat animals, and I just wish that it didn't have to be such a like factory thing where they're just trying to like get it done super fast therefore like they're not treating the animals really good but I do think it's good to kind of at least acknowledge and keep on top of like what's going on in the world and how we get our food um, I know though documentaries are always one-sided and you definitely need to look further into it um, I've definitely learned that over the years um, but I, I do kind of want to watch it it's called Sea Spiracy on Netflix hopefully it's not as I don't know. We'll see. We'll just see. I kind of want to watch it. We'll see if I finish all of it. Sometimes I just cannot handle that crap all at once. <laughs> but I do kind of want to see what they have to say. And I want to watch it. So I'm going to watch a little bit of that while I drink my coffee. What do you think? You think I'm crazy for watching it? No. No? No, I mean, it's interesting to, you know. This is see. so shaky because I'm not. Um, but, you know, sometimes you just have to be aware, like, those things are coming from a certain agenda yeah. and angle. But, you know, you should watch it, make up your own mind, make up your own opinion. I think it goes over a lot of, too, of, like, who's getting paid and, like, the people having to, like, catch these sea animals and, like, how they're treated and stuff. So I kind of want to watch it. Just, I don't know. just want to watch it. <laughs> what did you think when I was vegan? Did it drive you nuts? Or no? Um, you were so supportive. Yeah, I mean... It I'm not saying it I'm going a... vegan again or anything. <laughs> I mean, never say never, but I'm not planning on to. Never. But I do, I've been, I had tofu today. Like, I'm trying to not well, I mean, it's rely one thing, on like, meat to... so much. Yeah, I mean, it's fine if you want to, like, do a meat alternative sometimes. Yeah, I just wish know, we had our own little farm and we could, like, raise. I know this sounds gruesome, but someone else is doing it for you. But I honestly wish that we could, like, hunt our own animals and, like, had a farm and, like, did it ourselves. Honestly. That was, like, my ideal way to do it. I mean... That, I mean, maybe I could. It's the more humane know. way. Yeah, I, I could have my dad do it. Call my dad up. Hey, <laughs> come get this chicken. <laughs> I mean, you're giving the animal a clean death rather yeah. than, you know, like... Well, they're just treated so gross and they get sick yeah. and stuff. Okay, enough of this. I know you guys are probably like, please shut up. <laughs> Joey made me a little salad. He made himself a salad and gave me a little bowl. I'm a little hungry, so I'm going to have this. I don't really know what you want to call it. Maybe a snack, I guess, pre-dinner snack. <laughs> I'm waiting for the air to turn off. <sighs> there we go. I am about to make some dinner. It is time to make some dinner. I was editing my video, this video, um, getting some of that done, and, and I'm hungry. It's 6.43, so it's a little late. I am going to make um, cauliflower, fried rice with some veggies and chicken to go along the side with it. I have some chicken tenderloins. I'm going to go ahead and add to a bowl and use my Trader Joe's soyaki sauce. Let me grab it. This is the sauce. It's so, so, so good. You're going to need a little bit of this in the cauliflower rice as well and with the chicken and vegetables. So I'm going to air fry the chicken. I'm just going to air fry it first without any sauce because I feel like it just wastes the sauce that way. I like to air fry the chicken with a little bit of salt and pepper and then air fry it completely and then toss it in another bowl with the soyaki sauce. I 
feel like it just coats the chicken better. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And then I'm going to make the cauliflower rice. I'll show you guys how I make it. It's so good. Best way to make your cauliflower rice. If you like Asian style cauliflower fried rice, um, do it this way. <laughs> so let's get started. And I got a little audience watching me. Oh, that means I have to give them a treat since they like got up. I'll give them a treat. <laughs> Here you go. Sit, sit. Oh, you guys are the cutest little things in the world. You really are. I get questions about if they're brother and sister, and no, they're not. We got Miss Brixy first from someone I knew at work who had um, some puppies. And then Brooks was kind of like, uh, wasn't really planned. He was in a really bad situation um, with out living outside with his um, litter. I call from Joey's dad actually like oh my god there's these people like giving away these dogs it's really sad like the the mom I think it was the mom the dog mom had like mange all the dogs were infested with fleas you could see their ribs Brooks when we gave him a bath I'm not even kidding had 200 fleas on him we had to give him medicine we had to treat him with like a special shampoo um, we weren't even planning on getting a dog so we were just going over there to see what was going on and if we could help um, which we did end up giving them some supplies to take care of these poor dogs the other dogs that were there there was like 12 of them Brooks was like seven to eight weeks old he was so young so so young and he just sat on my husband's shoe he just sat on my husband's shoe and was like looking up at us and then I picked him up and then and then there he is <laughs> I'm gonna cry um so yeah he wasn't really planned so yeah that's how we got them they literally look just alike I don't know how it happened it just did it just that's just like how it played out they get along perfectly you guys like they never fight like pit bulls sometimes tend to get in little fights joey's two um dogs he grew up with they were both pit bulls they used to get in fights and joey would and his mom would have to get the hose and like break them apart that way our dogs have never ever gotten a fight um they love to be together they sleep together they cuddle together they get along so good they're so protective of each other brixie's actually more protective than brooks is um brixie's a feisty little thing like you guys can't tell on the camera because she's very <laughs> lazy and loves to sleep but she is feisty like she is the one who I think like would do the damage if someone like tried to come kidnap me or like hurt me Brixie would not have that at all um but yeah that's just a little bit about the dogs you guys asked so much about the dogs and like if they're related and they're not in their story and yeah that's their story they're literally the best dogs ever like I'm so lucky to have them We're gonna do one teaspoon. I'm gonna add one whole teaspoon of sesame oil to the pan. All right, now we're gonna add our cauliflower. I did microwave it for like a minute just to kind of soften it up so it's not so frozen. All right, now we're gonna add broccoli and red pepper we're just gonna let that cook down now we're gonna add one tablespoon of this soyaki sauce to the cauliflower and veggies We're gonna crack one egg and scramble it together. All right, here is the fried rice and veggies and the chicken. I have them stored in containers because we are gonna have some leftovers after I dish out my portion and then Joey dishes out his. I think this is gonna make about four servings, so that's how I'm gonna add it up in the recipe builder, is for four servings, and I'm just gonna divide it into four meals. And then that will generate the points for me. The only thing that has points is the soyaki sauce. 
everything else is zero because it's vegetables, eggs are zero, and chicken is zero bites. So, awesome. Oh, and the sesame oil, that has points too. Here is dinner. We have the cauliflower rice under here. With the side of chicken, I have some avocado and a little bit of kimchi. I would put some sesame seeds on top, but I cannot find my sesame seeds. I used them today earlier and I lost them. So I have no idea where those are. But this is what dinner is. Please, please make your cauliflower this way. It's so, so good. So easy and so fresh and just so so good all right guys that is it for what I eat in a day that is everything I ate today and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some good food ideas I'm gonna leave everything that I made down below in the description box for you guys to check out if you want to make any of these recipes that I shared today check the description box they'll all be written out there for you guys but I hope you guys are all doing well thank you for watching this video I hope it was inspiring for you in some way I am thinking of all of you hoping the best for all of you guys during your weight loss journey and yeah just just keep at it let's just do this together I will see you guys in my next video bye guys